Hello everyone, it's Shell C from Paper Rock Tea Studio and we are kicking off a new month-long challenge from Art Joy of Sharing Art Community on Facebook. And this one is the the classic art journaling every day challenge that we we used to always have in November, but now we've moved it up to October because November and December are crazy busy family months. And so we like to do this in October. We are offering a prompt challenge and sharing our prompts. Um, what we decided for this year, remember last year we did the snarky quotes and, you know, tried to make it a little bit more fun um, and, you know, snarky. <laughs> This year, we decided to focus on crazy characters. And so the prompts are character names. And within the name, you might get a hint as to, you know, something you think that that character might look like. The first prompt for uh, the 1st of October was Regero Ratface. And uh, something that I like to recommend uh, there's lots of different ways you can go about this art journaling and don't stress about it. I spent about an hour on this page. I'm not trying to make it too crazy, um, you know, but I'm not doing 15 minutes either. Some people do 15 minute times. And if you want to do something like that, maybe you want to do multiple characters on one page or something, because I, I just can't see how you could get it done in 15 minutes. But options would be collage. Um, magazine collage, really fun for this this type of project. When you're making weird characters, you can, you know, cut out different pieces from the magazine and, and you know, piece them together. Um, in this case, I'm using an image from a place called unsplash.com. I'm going to put it there on the screen. It is a free website where people upload their photos with the intention of allowing you to use them without royalty. If you print out pictures off of Pinterest and stuff, sometimes um, those things would be covered by copyright and you just don't know, especially if someone's pinned it on Pinterest, you don't know where it came from, right? So it's, uh, in my case, not safe for me to use that type of stuff on YouTube. So I would recommend that you try unsplash.com and to get this picture I think I I searched I think I searched rat face in the end it there wasn't any actual rat faces there was some you know just a lot of different faces and this is one of the faces that I found and I thought that he looked like a mobster or uh, a kingpin or somebody you know, a crusty guy that's like a little bit scary, but maybe inside he's just he's just a squishy um, grandfather type. You know, you don't know. I don't know who this guy is. Somebody took a picture of him and posted it on Unsplash. No idea who he is. But he looks like a character to me. He looks like, you know, somebody that I'd want to get to know if I had the opportunity. So it was a black and white picture. I printed it out on my my laser printer and because I did finally buy a laser printer, I got tired of having to seal my inkjet prints. If you do have an inkjet printer, you can still use photos off the internet. Just seal it with matte medium or clear gesso before you use it so that if you put other things over the top that are water, you know, that get it wet, the ink won't get disturbed and I did that for years but I finally did go ahead and buy an inexpensive laser printer uh, a few months ago so this has been printed that way the other thing that I printed out um, if you guys look at the graphic that we shared for this challenge all over the place on all social media the background is a white painted brick and I thought for the first page I would use that background of white painted brick, so I printed it on my laser printer too. It came out kind of weird. Uh, it's pinkish at the top and then kind of turquoise at the bottom, uh, blending with into kind of a purple in the middle. Uh, I was surprised. I didn't realize that's what that picture looked like, but apparently that's what it looks like. I don't know. So I did print that out, and that's what I'm gluing onto my page uh, for this challenge, I'm going to use the Dilusions Dialogue Insert Journals. I have two 
white ones. Um, one of them has words in the background. Another one has lines in the background. And then I have the third one is black. And I'm going to, um, black pages, and I'm going to in, intersperse that one in between uh, just for fun so that um, I get a little bit of variety. I often will make a junk journal just specifically for this challenge. I did that for a few years, and I made, I made it out of, um, you know, junk mail, like the cards that come in the mail, particularly when it's a political year, you get a ton of those things. And advertisements for realtors and stuff, they print them on a card stock. And it's fun to just gesso those and bind them together in some way and make a junk journal for this challenge. But this time I have these three Dilutions journals. I'm going to go ahead and use them. So after I got my uh, brick background glued down, I went around the edges. I wanted kind of a grungy city city look, you know, like... Uh, just like maybe this guy is from Miami and, and he lives in the city where there's a lot of painted brick and he's a colorful guy. He wears Hawaiian shirts and things, but he's also a little bit scary. That's what I was going for. So I decided that my brick wall needed graffiti because it's in the city and I thought colorful uh, tropical type color graffiti would be super cool on this page over the brick. So I drew my swirly mark making that I like to do with my um, my India ink pen. That's the Pentel pocket brush. And then I have a stencil. It's, it was originally one stencil and it's from Stencil Club in August 2019 designed by Kat Kerr, and it's just mark making stuff. Um, and I cut it into pieces, and then I put it on a little key ring, a wire key ring, and um, then I can use the different pieces. Just, you know, and it's easy to carry that way. I also like to do that with the ATC stencils. And I've been going through looking for any of my Dilutions paints that still work. So, during this process, I was working on finding any paints that still worked. These are so bright, and I do like to use them, but most of them that I have are dried up now. So I open it. I find out if I can use it. Um, if it's still a little bit wet, maybe I put some uh, water in there uh, to try to get it a little bit more, I don't know, you know, usable. And then I'm using the toothbrush style makeup brush for my stenciling. I like to use those for stenciling with these shape type things. I'm also using it to blend a little bit. And I just made an interesting pattern with some teal, some bright pink, and some orange. Which to me are Miami colors, you know. That seems like hot colors just seem like the right thing. So then I wanted to highlight some of the bricks a little bit because it's, it's hard to see. Um, it's particularly on the video. You can see it in person a lot better and in the pictures at the end. So I went around them with my gray uh, Stabilo All graphite pencil and then blended a little bit with my water brush. It's a, a graphite is always water reactive. Um, even like a number two pencil is, is slightly water reactive if you put water on it. So that's what I did just to kind of highlight the bricks a little bit to give them a little something something so you can see them in the background. <clears throat> Since I bothered putting that whole bunch of paper over my background. What I'm using is for glue today is the Yuhu glue stick, the one that comes out blue and turns clear when it's dry. I really think that these are working out fine for art journaling. You know, these pages are just stuck in a book, so it's not like it's getting exposed to much of anything. Once the book is shut, nothing's pulling on it or getting it wet. So I think that the glue stick is fine for doing this art journaling process. I decided I wanted him to have a fun shirt, so I took a gel print and... Um, kind of looks like a Hawaiian shirt 
and I cut out the shape of the shirt using the actual photograph. You know, I, use, I cut around the photograph to get it exactly perfect. And then I decided to use that same stencil set from August 2019 Stencil Club at Stencil Girl Products. And it, this is like a word one. I don't even know what it says. It's just got some words and it makes interesting marks. And I went over the top of that piece with some white uh, just to give it a, even a little bit more pattern to separate it from the background because it's almost the same color as that turquoise in the background. So I wanted it to have a little bit more pattern. And then I'm gluing that down again with a glue stick. I sometimes take a baby wipe and go over the top when I'm gluing things down just to uh, press it down and give it, it kind of makes the paper more pliable, the fibers in the paper more pliable. Um, one thing I guess I didn't talk about is I did alter the photograph before I cut it out. I gave it big uh, rat ears and I changed the shape of the nose and I did add a little bit of color to the black and white photo at the beginning, but then when I glued this and pressed it down, I wiped a lot of it off with my baby wipe. So I had to come back in with the color sticks again. These are King Art gel sticks. <clears throat> and I just, I want the nose to be pink and the ears to be a little bit pink because the back, the, the photograph is black and white, so it's gray. So it really gives the idea of a gray rat, right? I mean, just changing a few little things about the photograph. And I did put a little bit of gesso in the places that I drew new ears and things like that. And that was at the very beginning, and I forgot to talk about it because I was talking about the challenge. <laughs> so um, just giving you an idea about that. I also added a little bit of uh, Tiffany blue to his hair. You know, gray. He has, he has gray hair or salt and pepper hair, and sometimes gray hair looks a little bit blue it can look a little bit blue so I thought that that was a cool interesting highlight to the black and white as well and then I'm just giving some shading around the shirt and the collar so that it stands out from the background and shows you that he's wearing type some type of like a Hawaiian shirt and gave it some buttons and then um, I think I did a more, some more shading with the gel sticks, just a little bit with the gel sticks. I like to play with those. You can blend them with your finger. They're similar to Gelato's. And then also, of course, there's another company that makes these gel sticks, uh, Marabou. And uh, I just happened to have got, got the King Art ones one night when I was woke up in the middle of the night and I was awake and I saw them on Instagram, I think. And I just bought them, you know, because that's what happens <laughs> in the middle of the night. You know, I have a lot of self-control. So I did a little bit more mark making with the Stabilo pencil, uh, circling some of the things. I did some splatters and then I put uh, I put the name Ruggiero rat face using a stamp set that looks like uh, ransom letters kind of but it would have been super fun to actually cut letters out from a magazine and glue those down I should have but I just I wanted to do it quickly so I used the stamp set this is an old Stampin' Up set I don't know if it's still available you could probably find it on eBay so I hope you guys have enjoyed this Art journal page, day number one of the hashtag AJOS, that stands for Art Joy of Sharing, AJOS Peculiar Persona. That's the hashtag that you use if you want to find other people's art that they've posted and also to post your art journal pages. <clears throat> I hope to see you in the group. I hope that you post your pages and we see what you come up with for your crazy characters. I, I'm really excited to see. I want to see what everyone does, and I hope a lot of people will participate this year. So I did put on some whiskers because rats have whiskers, and I, I used a gray brush pin to kind of um, emphasize the words a little bit. The ink pad that I had, the black ink pad, was kind of a little bit dry, and so 
I just wanted to fill in some, you know, not change it a lot, but just fill in a little bit. And I think I wrote on the bottom that Regero rat face is the scourge of the East or something like that. And then I wrote um, the hashtag and stuff on it so that I remember that this is <clears throat> from this particular challenge from October 2021. So thanks for watching. Give me a like, a thumbs up, a comment, whatever you want to do. That's it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye.